Well, after first being covered up, the Kate Smith statue is now gone from the sports complex in South Philadelphia and new tonight. Her family members tell Eyewitness News they are disgusted. Smith was an institution at Flyers games, but a firestorm of controversy erupted this week over her recording of racially insensitive songs in the 30s. The late singer's family members say they had no idea the Flyers removed the statue until Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo told them. They took the statue? We didn't know. Kate Smith's niece Susie and Ron and her husband Bob are both in disbelief after learning only the base of her aunt's statue now stands outside the Wells Fargo Center. I'm appalled. The Flyers played the late singer's version of God Bless America during special events and the playoffs for good luck. It dates back to when the Flyers won the Stanley Cup in 1974, but the team distanced itself from Smith last week after learning she sang racially insensitive songs early in her career in the 1930s. The Flyers said in a statement today, quote, we cannot stand idle while material from another era gets in the way of who we are today. The New York Yankees have also stopped playing Smith's song. Aunt Catherine was probably one of the kindest people I've ever met. And Ron insists neither her aunt nor her songs were racist. She adds it's unfair for the Flyers to react so quickly. Now Smith's family has a message for the team. I think that you need to go back and look at your own history, that would be the Philadelphia Flyers, and what Aunt Catherine gave to that team freely, freely. She was, she was so proud that she was their mascot. And Kate Smith's family says calling her a racist is a big misunderstanding. Now they're hoping the Flyers reconsider their decisions. In the newsroom, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.